active guys flying around tons of energy and they were really getting after each other and trying to take each other heads off. So I'm, I'm very impressed with how things went. Then any players stood out on either side of the ball, offense, defense, special teams? I would just say overall the entire offense stood out and the same with the defense. I, I would just say both sides as a unit, you know, we, we stress unification. So I would say both sides stood out. If you ask me, not one particular guy at all. And then one last question for me. Uh, how do you feel? You talked about just a moment ago about the communication. How would you feel that your players maybe responded and, uh, you know, maybe to, like you said, the crowd noise and, and things like that? How do you feel that, you know, the offense and defense responded to that? They, they responded well, you know, uh, from the sidelines, like talking in sign language anyway. You know, we pretty much scrimmage every day. So it was really nothing new for those guys. Uh, the practice was just pretty much a, a full all-out scrimmage instead of different sessions that we normally have doing practice. Uh, so I thought it was well. Uh, QBs did a good job as far as communicating up front, you know, with the wide outs. It's all sign language anyway. So, you know, we don't even really have to talk at practice. Just a quarterback and O-line and linebackers to D-line. So I thought everything went well. Hey, Emmett, are, are the players even more, like, psyched and amped up for a day like today than, than just a normal practice? Very much, very much. A lot of lip talking. You expect that in the trenches, especially. You know, those guys are really getting after each other. I mean, roommates. That's that's it's, that's what you expect. You know, uh, you know, you love each other in the dorm. You love each other in the locker room or down in the weight room. And between those white lines, you know, I, you know, you know, you my number one enemy. I saw that. You know, we had to calm some guys down a little bit. I would rather calm them down. To, tell them to go, you know, so I like where we're at right now. Even with those wide outs against those DBs, they kind of get active a little bit. And that's, that's what we experienced in the Big 12. So there's no need to sugarcoat it, you know, so you might as well get yourself ready for it and know how you handle and carry yourself. So they all responded well. What, what other things can you learn from a scrimmage day that you, you don't necessarily see in, in just a normal weekday practice? Uh, I, we always have the refs out there. You know, I, I think, you know, uh, we got to get used to, playing with tempo during certain sessions, you know, uh, as far as the offensive line, as far as finding the ball, getting lined up very fast. Uh, sometimes we put those guys in, in moments where, you know, we was coming from behind, no timeouts, and it was couldn't hear each other, you know. So uh, we just got to – that 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 get better as we continue to roll throughout practice, you know, uh, with these last six or seven days we have left for spring, you know. But just clean small things up, you know. Uh, don't want any self-inflicted wounds, what we talked about uh, before – just today's scrimmage. So just clean small areas up as far as simple penalties, but I think everything else was fine. At last season, the, the defense, you know, had a better year than the offense really. Um, where, where do you see the progress of, of both sides at this point? Is, is the defense still the strength of this team during the spring? I wouldn't say that, you know, it's, it's like a heavyweight fight. Uh, they get us one day, then we get them, you know, it's just back and forth. You know, back and forth. Uh, even with this scrimmage, certain sessions of offense get them. Uh, then we'll put them inside the eight yard, the plus eight yard line going in. Very hostile environment, so loud. Defense get those guys off the field. Uh, next series, offense may punch it in and score. You know, so that's really what you want to what you want to see. You stress team, you stress brotherhood. One side can't carry the program. You know, we need special teams, we need defense, we need offense, and and, and guys kind of swinging, going back and forth with each other. So team is coming along fine. We're right where we need to be during this time of the year. And uh, I also wanted to ask you about, you know, Travis Goff obviously spoke to you guys and spoke to you about conducting a national search. And obviously you're a candidate and, you know, that's official now. So I want to ask you about how you feel about your candidacy and what you feel like you might need to do to, to win the job, I guess. For one, just to be a candidate, you know, <laughs> I'm just blessed to be in the situation. I'm just blessed to be one of the candidates. Uh, what I need to do is just be myself. I don't need to, you know, uh, get out of character. I just need to be Emmett Jones, continue to be who I was as far as how I got here. You know, I, that won't change. You know, I, I won't make up nothing. I just speak the truth, you know, and uh, uh, I'm not worried about that at all. Just continue to control what I can control and just be myself, you know. And does, does this spring kind of feel like an audition or a job interview just because of the timing of everything? I don't think about that. You know, I just think about getting better every day at practice, getting better every day uh, in the classroom with the players. You know, I don't even really think about it. This is one day at a time. Same, same mindset with the rest of the coaches, same mindset with the players. Just one day at a time, to be honest with you. We don't even think about it. It's just one day at a time. Hey, Coach, how are you? Great. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, wanted to follow up just along those lines. Uh, you know, Travis Goff said he wanted to come in and listen, uh, listen to you guys, listen to players, hear you guys out. Did you feel like that was something he did? And, and did you guys have a lot of talks kind of leading up to everything this last maybe week and a half? 
uh, he did exactly what he said he was going to do, you know, uh, is wish what we expected, you know, so uh, whatever he said he was going to do, he's doing it, you know, and to be honest with you, we like him around. That's what we want with our, with our top number one leader. We want our, our number one leader around supporting us. So, uh, like I said, you know, he's taking the best approach, you know. I think that's the right way to handle that, you know, especially when you're trying to improve things, you want to be better, you know, that's the best way you can handle it. So I applaud him for uh, carrying himself the way he carried himself, and I applaud him for the way he's handling everything uh, here with KU. And then I wanted to get you a few on the football field. Uh, obviously not having a spring last year, I'm sure every unit, every position would would benefit from having a spring. Is there a, a position or two that you think has really benefited may, maybe most or can benefit most just from having that spring slate? And if so, which ones? To be honest with you, I probably say quarterbacks. You know, I'm seeing tremendous amount of improvement with those guys. That goes to the coach the board. That goes to Travis Partridge. Uh, that goes to what we did as a unit as far as with the system and with the scheme, making the reads pretty clean, making it very simple, very, very simple, but difficult. You know, so don't think it's that simple. Uh, they're doing a great job as far as executing their assignments. So I say the quarterbacks, uh, uh, it's totally like night and day, if you ask me. Uh, they're doing a good job with the coaches and, and comprehending everything. But at the same time, then, you, you know, you can't be quarterback without, without the offensive line. So that's Coach Grimes, you know. So uh, it's really – both sides of the ball, all areas, you know, it's, it's totally – we're not the same University of Kansas when it comes to the football program. We're not the same at all. You know, it's it's both sides of the ball. And I hate to just point at one unit, but it's the, it's both sides of the ball. Yeah. And, and then I just wanted to ask, where do you think the biggest strides have been made, uh, specifically since you've started the spring slate? Buy-in. Buy-in, brotherhood. Um, comprehending everything that, that we're doing on the offensive side not thinking about the past, continue to stand focused on one day at a time approach. Our number one, our main mindset is just the mentality is just 1% better every day. That's one thing we stress every day. It's not made up. That's just what we talk about, you know, as far as being better 1% each day. And so as long as we feel that as a, as a unit, as a team, we okay with today, you know, so uh, that's where we at, you know, so uh, I did a good job as far as buying in, absorbing the coaching and, 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 and moving forward as far as, um, to the future of University of Kansas football. Thanks. Hey, Coach Jones. How you Matt doing? Kitty. I'm good. How are you? Great. Have, have you been asked that a few times today? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I wanted to ask you uh, kind of not just about specifics right now, but big picture too. Uh, you've been the interim for a while now, and, and I, I wonder what kind of direction you've been given uh, regarding that because you guys have – picked up a couple of commitments. Obviously, you continue to do the recruiting thing. And, and um, some of that happened before Travis got here. And then since he's been here, too, they're, they're, that obviously changed things a little bit, too. So what, what kind of direction were you given as far as just so, sort of the caretaker of the program, overseeing the future and the movement of recruiting and all that kind of stuff? Did, did anybody give you any kind of direction on that stuff? The direction came from the program. Myself being the interim head coach, unification, stay the course, continue to move forward on a day-to-day -day basis. We always deal with recruiting. We always deal with academics. We always deal with just normal operation. Matter of fact, amplify everything a little bit more, stay the course, continue to move forward. That's it right there. Yeah, and, and did, did you have any uh, feedback on that from anybody, whether it was Travis when he got here or, or interim AD Kurt Watson or anybody like that? Did, did you have any of those conversations? Or, or obviously you're doing what you need to do, but, but anything like that talked about? I don't, I don't seek feedback. I just listen to the product, which is the players. You know, they're all excited, fired up, eager to learn, uh, anxious to come over to the facility to study, to get better. So that's, that's the testament, that's the judgment right there, the players, the product. So uh, I don't seek any kind of feedback. As long as the young men find they, they feel like they're getting better every day, feel like they're getting coached, I'm okay with that. You know, so uh, that's the feedback that we look for. Sure. And, and did, did Travis give you any kind of indication on, hey, do what you're doing, stay the course um, in your conversations that you have had with him? Uh, exactly. He told me always, you know, just keep doing exactly what you're doing. You know, okay. don't alter the plan. Just keep the vision going. You know, so that's where we're at. Good deal. Thank you very much. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, you mentioned the quarterbacks benefiting from the spring practices this year. Uh, I want to ask you about today specifically. Uh, any quarterbacks that impressed you today, and what did they do to catch your attention? I tell you what, I like both of the youngsters, the two freshmen on campus. I like those guys. I like both of the old. I like all three. Uh, I like both of the seniors, Fallon and Kendrick. 
I uh, like what Daniels is making. He's continuing to make the progress also too. So that whole unit, that whole unit, not one guy in particular, uh, but they're doing exactly what we ask them to do as far as operating the system, executing the script, and putting everybody in the right position where they, in the right position where they need to be. And and any plays that stood out today from any of those guys? I won't give that. You know, I won't give <laughs> it at all. But I saw I saw tons of good plays on both sides of the ball. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Scott. Yeah, just actually wanted to get you one more along those lines. Uh, we've we've seen here a, a very different approach, um, coach to coach, with how people like to handle quarterbacks. Are you personally of the philosophy that hey, when you go into fall, you know, down the line, just about every job is still kind of going to be up for grabs, or are there positions you think are better to get settled in uh, earlier? You would like for it to get settled in, but really, I can't predict that. You know, so uh, we just let it all just 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 play it out on its own. Uh, we grade everything, you know, so we just let it all play out. Uh, and those guys are swinging toe to toe. You know, we feel comfortable with that room and where we at right now. So we just let it all play out and see where it end up at the end of the day. Yeah, and and then I was just curious, um, has Travis talked to you at all about? If they did go with another coach, what his future plans for you would be, whether it would be um, some kind of a promotion, a role he would see you in, or just giving you uh, his support or anything like that? I don't even seek those type of conversations with him. You know, I'm so locked in on the program. I, that's the least thing I think about. You know, I just stay in the course, to be honest with you. Yeah. And then just last one for me, how much fun has it been leading the team these last few weeks and, and being the interim coach of Kansas? It's been great. It's been great. You know, I'm glad to be in this situation. Glad to be here at the University of Kansas in this position. Uh, this program, man, it's, it's awesome to be a part of, you know, uh, uh, family, brotherhood, man, it's something special right now. You know, uh, these guys will tell you uh, it's, it's been it's awesome just to be here. It, this is a great deal right here, man. All right, thanks, everyone. We'll be right back with the player. Thanks, Emmett. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.